Leaving a legacy people will never forget is not easy. But if you want to meet someone who's doing that with ease and consistency, meet James Prince. My son label is called Young Empire. And uh, yeah, I would definitely uh, say that an empire was created. Prince is the founder of Rap-A-Lot Records, a Houston-based rap label that has created some of the biggest stars in the South. Yes, yo, the from street, Ghetto yo, Boy to Bum B. Last name ever, first name greatest. And now Drake. Drake was the artist that my son uh, brought to me, Jazz Prince. Uh, and when I heard Drake, I wasn't that moved about Drake. His son convinced him otherwise, and with that, Drake became another major accomplishment by James Prince and his growing empire in Houston. Drake's platinum awards lined the walls of rap Records and James's penthouse. Prince is a very complicated man who was motivated by life in 1986 to lead the routine 9 to 5. The laid-off bank worker no longer wanted to work for anyone, and he had a simple goal. Watching my mother uh, work hard, you know, as a waitress and bring me her tips and, you know, with us living in the projects at the time, you know, her only wish was to have a home. It prompted Prince to pursue a career path where his goal was to work for himself and simply buy his mother that house. He did that 29 years ago by building rap -Lot. But the record company wasn't enough with Prince's work ethic, drive, and mentality. I thank God for the wisdom that he bestowed upon me to be able to diversify myself in a lot of different areas without having a degree. <laughs> And did he diversify? He created the condom company he calls Strap. Studios where some of the biggest stars in the country record. The boxing management business that has spawned greats like Floyd Mayweather. And now he has Bryant Jennings on his roster. Jennings is scheduled to fight the heavyweight champion of the world in April at Madison Square Garden. A deal Prince brokered for the Philadelphia native. It's a great combination. You know, it's a very good dude. Um, changed my life, you know, uh, and it's like I will have no no other person to be in that position in my life ever. It's a perfect marriage. It's kind of like you know the right agent with the right ball player. Like. Another person who believes in Prince and his empire is super hot Houston rapper Zero. He recently dropped a new album, Melting the Crown, under Jay Prince and his own company, One Deep Entertainment. He says the loyalty he gets from Prince keeps him coming back. It also motivates him to build his own legacy. I'm just trying to get to a point where when I'm ready to put the microphone down, I'll be well versed enough and uh, you know, have my my finances and everything to, to where I can go out and find that next zero. Guiding and mentoring young artists has been the bread and butter of Prince's bank account, an account that has grown over the years with diversification and the toys. We met him at his River Oaks area penthouse, one of six or seven homes, as he puts it. It's where Prince has a private elevator with a view he says puts him closer to God. In the parking garage, there were two white Rolls Royces and that Mercedes Benz, three of Prince's 30 or 40 cars, as he puts it. I have every material goal that I wanted to accomplish. He also allowed us unlimited access to his 1100 acre fully functional cattle ranch in Waller County where the main house would stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with any mansion in Beverly Hills. Inside there's a stuffed lion, bear on the floor, and deer heads draping the walls. The ranch is where he produces and sells hay along with beef from the livestock. I feel like I'm, I'm really balanced at this point in my life. Did I forget to tell you he just bought a whole island near Belize? All a part of James Princess's empire. But the father of several children says his empire, his businesses, won't come to them on a silver platter. They have to prove they're worthy. And if they don't... If I have somebody else that may not have my bloodline that's more qualified to keep the legacy going and keep the movement taking place, 
with, with something I know the family need, then I'm going to embrace them. For someone who's living for the secret. While James Prince, founder of rap -A -Lot Records, has all the trappings of royalty, jewelry, multiple homes, and cars, what he wants the most is simple, respect not just from family and friends, but those in the industry. We, we demand that from uh, uh, a lot of people, but then there are those that don't respect nothing. It was in February when Prince released a threatening recording targeting some of the biggest names in the hip-hop industry. Oh, yeah. An awakening of sleeping giant. So let me put these bullet niggas on notice by letting them know Drake is family. I'm not gonna lip wrestle with you, niggas, but if any of you clowns cross me or my family, bad news, gonna beat you home. In hip hop, sometimes you have to uh, speak a special language to, to those that don't understand uh, a certain language. It was a warning to P. Diddy, who, according to published reports, had a physical altercation with Drake. Then there was that warning to Cash Money Records and Lil Wayne for allegedly not paying Drake what the mogul says a Canadian-born rapper is owed under their label. Prince, who has had his share of high-profile controversies, like a federal investigation in the 90s with no charges, or the civil lawsuit for assault against him that he won, wanted to make it clear you don't touch his family. If you don't stand up for yourself and stand up for those around you, then people will take that to mean that there's a weakness and we can do anything to you and to those that you love. And, you know, my track record and the type of person I am, uh, you know, when a person is family to me, friends to me, I'm down with them, then I will take that stand and let that be known. Here's something else that James Prince will not stand for. Only a week ago, his good friend, former Rockets player Steve Francis, had his very expensive gold and diamond chain ripped from his neck by someone on the stage at a Houston rap concert. Prince confirms he made one call, one simple call to the group, the Sauce Twins, who put on the concert. And guess what? Take a look at this. In a matter of days, he had Francis's chain in his hand. This is Steve Francis' chain. And uh, it's here be returned to him. That's power in the hip-hop industry. I told him Steve Francis is a friend of mine. You know what I mean? And I wanted to let that be known. This, this is a friend of mine, so, you know, give him back what was taken from him. And you know, they made that happen. The soft-spoken rap mogul has a reputation that precedes him. With some, it's unbelievable respect. Others, it's admiration for his charity efforts in the community, like after-school programs and free food giveaways at the Prince Boxing Complex. And for some, to be frankly honest, it's just downright fear of the man. Well, I don't desire to be feared. I desire to be loved if, uh, if that's possible. But most of all, I, I just want to be respected, you know, and uh, I, I don't want nobody to fear me. I'm a lovable person, <laughs> you know. I'm a small guy also. Small or not, Prince knows the heavy weight that comes with his name and his empire, the one he built in Houston that still stands tall even today. James Prince had a simple dream in 1986 that led him down a road many wished they could travel. A road paved with platinum and gold albums that now hang in his homes and at the place he built called rap -A -Lot. Sometimes I, I can't believe my own eyes. Those blessings come in the form of high-profile children like Jazz and James Prince Jr., who are making millions themselves, and they're both under 30. And then there are the trappings of success. Prince has a fleet of cars that go from Rolls Royces to an armored vehicle. There's a penthouse with square footage that could only be guessed. You know, whenever I want to feel uh, that feeling of tranquility to be able to think, oh, shoot out to the lake house, shoot out to the ranch. This is the ranch, 1,100 rolling acres of land in Waller County with a huge private lake, cattle, 
and a huge main house. Inside is designed for entertaining or just relaxing. Yet another huge kitchen, expensive furniture, and artwork. And you can't forget the pool in the back for the perfect summer day. Prince says he has six or seven homes he actually lives in, from a lake house in Livingston to a compound in Memorial. There's the island he just purchased and the 47-foot sea ray in Kima. You call that a yacht. With all of that, what else could this rap mogul want? Now the bigger goals in life now is me. Prince says now that he has all of the material possessions any man could want, he's now working on himself. He says he regrets not getting a formal education, but he's focused on bettering himself the best way he can. Reading helps, and of course, you know, spiritual nourishment. You know, he and the, the word of God. Prince is a very spiritual man. He says God is a huge motivator in his life. He believes to whom much is given, much is expected. I definitely want to be inspiring and uh, inspirational figure to, to, to all of those who uh, have any respect uh, about uh, you know, our movement. So what's next for Prince besides self-improvement? Well, he just brokered the biggest non-pay-per-view fight for super middleweight champ Andre Ward through Jay-Z's company Rock Nation, writing a book about his own life, and this weekend his goal is to focus on family by celebrating his son's birthday. Jay Prince Jr. with parties all over Houston, and he says you're all invited. With the assistance of Mike Mack at TakeOver Studios, Isaiah Carey, Fox 26 News.